In a quiet Paris room, a question haunted the age of steam. Why did so much power vanish into nothing? It was the early 1800s, and Europe was rumbling with iron and fire. Steam engines roared in factories and hissed along railways, promising endless progress. Yet engineers noticed something unsettling. No matter how much coal they burned, engines always wasted energy. Heat disappeared. Motion faded. And no one could explain where it went. Amid this industrial thunder stood a young French officer, observant and intensely curious. While others chased bigger machines, he chased a deeper mystery. What if the problem wasn't engineering at all, but nature itself? Picture him late at night, candlelight flickering over dense pages, diagrams sketched with care. He wasn't experimenting with metal or pistons. He was experimenting with ideas. In 1824, he published a slim, almost overlooked work that asked a radical question. What are the absolute limits of heat and work? The answer didn't arrive as a formula at first. It arrived as a thought experiment. Imagine heat flowing like water from a high place to a low one. Imagine a perfect engine, not real, but ideal, where nothing is wasted except what nature demands. In this imagined machine, efficiency had a ceiling. No clever design could break it. That single realization changed everything. Halfway through his argument, a quiet shock emerges. The engine's efficiency didn't depend on its materials. Not on iron, not on steam, only on temperatures. Hot and cold. Difference itself. Suddenly, waste wasn't a flaw, it was a law. This reframed the world. Heat was no longer just fire or warmth, it was motion, flow, direction. Energy had rules, invisible, universal rules. And once seen, they could never be unseen. The implications spread slowly at first, like warmth through stone. Later scientists would give these ideas names, entropy, irreversibility, the arrow of time. They would realize this theory explained why engines fail, why ice melts, why stars burn out, and why time itself seems to move only forward. The emotional climax is quiet but profound. The young author never saw the full impact of his work. He died early, long before the world realized he had redrawn the boundaries of physics. Yet his insight still governs every power plant, every engine, every calculation of energy efficiency today. In the end, this wasn't just about machines. It was about limits, about understanding that progress doesn't come from fighting nature, but from listening to it. If this story sparked your curiosity, take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. And tell me in the comments, what scientific idea do you think quietly changed the world the most?